If you are like me, then you have quite a lot of collection of DC motors. They come in various sizes and shapes and all have different torque and voltage ratings. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can build a really powerful motor speed controller that can handle current up to 30 amps and voltage from 0 to 32 volts. So let's get started. The circuit works on the basis of PWM, which stands for Pulse Width Modulation. For the first case, I could just simply use a variable resistor like a potentiometer, but this could not handle high power. For the second case, I could use a linear voltage regulator like this LM317, right? Let me demonstrate you. If I connect a high power load like this 10 ohm resistor, the transistor can easily reach temperature above 100 degrees celsius and you might be able to see the magic smoke. So to control the high current and loss of heating, we use PWM, which apply power in short pulses. By powering the motor with pulse wave that switches between 0 and 12 volt at a very fast rate. The motor will behave as it is getting stable voltage, somewhere between 0 and 12 volts. We can determine this voltage level by taking the amount of time in which the pulse wave is on versus off. This is known as the wave DB cycle. We can multiply this amount by pulse high level which is 0.5 multiplied 12. So our signal has average of 6 volts. The heart of this circuit is this LM358IC which converts analog signal into digital signal with a variable DD cycle which is controlled by a potentiometer. Then the signal feeds into a high power and channel MOSFET like this IRF Z44N or you can also use IRF 3205. Now let's build the circuit on a piece of perf board. The circuit is self explanatory, all pretty basic components. As always, the schematic of the circuit is also given in description. The transistor does not require any heatsink for up to 5 amps. The circuit is not only used to drive motor but also high power LEDs and to charge batteries that require different voltage level. As always, don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe to my channel for projects like this.